So, you bought the mini educator. First things first, let's get it out of the box. First thing, from under, underneath here, find your instructions. Then, we're gonna remove the charger. Plug it in. On the training collar, you're gonna have a port, has a little rubber flap, a plug on it. You're gonna wanna plug your charger in there, pretty reminiscent of your cell phone. Plug on the back of the transmitter and you plug it in. They're both gonna turn red. Within two hours, they're both going to turn green and we're gonna be ready. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do, we're gonna turn on the receiver, the collar. On your transmitter, you're gonna find a red dot. You're gonna to touch it into the wrist, this red dot until you see this collar wake up. There's your green. It's gonna blink green once every four seconds. Later, when you see this start to turn amber or red during the blink, you need to recharge. Now we're gonna turn on the transmitter. On the back, you're gonna have on and off with the word light. I'm gonna press it until we see this turn on. It'll blink, you'll see it flash through and it says on. So now we have them both on. First thing we're gonna do is make sure that it works. We're gonna press the tone button, which is out of the factory set to vibrate. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go, we know we're turned on. Next thing I'm gonna do is find my light out of the box here. And what it is, is it's a little test light. And then we're gonna see what our features do. Let's install this on here. Saves me a little discomfort. And I will start, I'm gonna start by turning the power wheel all the way up to 100, which it'll say high. And I'm going to look at this as I tap my black stem button here. That's all that it's gonna do, even if I press and hold out of the box. The red stem button. As long as I press and hold it, we're going to see the amount of static that's coming through here. If I turn it down, you'll see a lot less. Maybe not nothing at all there. So, right off the out of the box, I would recommend get this thing out, run your power up and down, and get a feel for what your buttons do. All right, folks. I'm Josh here at Land Time. Welcome back. We're going to continue talking about the mini educator e-collar setup and how we use it here at land time, but also what's it gonna look like when you bring it out of the box if we didn't set it up for you. You're gonna turn on your transmitter and you're gonna see something similar to this. Okay. <clears throat> Over here is your tone T button, which is set to vibrate factory out of, the, out of the box. Kip talked about this. Here is our, in this setting, this button is our momentary button. This red button would be our continuous button. Momentary and continuous mode are indicated on the screen by the M and the C here. The seven in the middle would indicate our current power level. The one D at the top would indicate you're on a one dog collar system and you're on the one dog collar. It's flashing indicated by my little parentheses here or, or uh, my marks here on either side. This is flashing to indicate that it is not locked. In other words, if it's not locked, when I turn my power, my dial here at the top, my power can roll up and down. I'm finding my working level at seven, and I want to lock that working level in. So when I when I get the dial right, then I'm going to push the dial button in. This dial button has two features. I lock it and unlock it by pushing it down until the 1D stops flashing. When the 1D stops flashing, it would be locked at seven. I have a solid 1D, a level seven here, meaning that my momentary button would be at power level seven, as well as my continuous button would be at power level seven. <clears throat> so as long as I hold down the red button here, the continuous button, I'm gonna have power until the collar times out at about 12 seconds. Then I would have to release and apply pressure again. My momentary button, I'm just gonna get a momentary stimulation or a nick, as other e-collar manufacturers call this, a nick. 
but at the level seven. The setting, the, the setup that we use here for most pet dogs at land time would be in the constant mode. And when I go to just the constant mode, my screen is gonna look like this. The M is gone. Both of these buttons are continuous. I no longer have a momentary feature. So let me kind of take care of that. And we'll talk about what this does now. So now the top button, instead of momentary, is constant or continuous. My bottom or red button, and this is why it's red, is a boost. Both buttons are now in continuous mode, meaning that as long as I push them down for up to 12 seconds, they will both be on the whole time. What happens here, out of the box, the default boost setting, if I'm in this configuration, would be five life levels higher than my working level that's on the screen. So if I hit the red button at constant, this number, you're gonna see it jump to 12 instead of seven. Typically, we set these up, we change this boost to about 10 levels higher, but it can be set anywhere from one level higher to 60 levels higher on the mini educator, depending on what circumstances I'm gonna use the collar on. This allows me to use my working level while teaching place or come or other obedience, layering my e-collar over other obedience commands, such as sit or down. But if my dog be begins to misbehave, doesn't hold position, I recall the dog, he runs the other direction, I can jump to the boost. Typically we would tap that and I can, I can kind of correct the dog rather than be at that working level. So I'm, I'm at a higher stimulation level. <clears throat> when we tap this in this continuous function, we haven't lost all functionality of the momentary. We now would refer to this as a bump, an e-collar uh, nomenclature. A manual tap of the button would be called a bump. So I now still have my momentary feature with a manual tap. I have my constant working level feature and I would have my boost. So I've got a little more functionality out of the collar in this setting. Last but not least, back to the functionality of your transmitter on your mini educator e-collar. The back side of the collar, this large button in the middle has an L in the middle of it. The L is for light. I've got my collar on, my transmitter's on. If I tap the L button one time, I get that strobing light. You can see the light flashes. If I tap it a second time, I have a constant on. Very nice feature if my dog's outside going potty in the night in the backyard and I don't see the dog. So it turns it on, on and off, and it also controls the light on the, on the receiver. Next to this large button is a much smaller button and it has a small M and a slash and a C in it. This is the button that controls my momentary and constant modes and how I flip back and forth between those or the combination of the two. And at the bottom you can see the charging port.